The next product we'll talk about is the Xiaomi Poco F4 GT, also known as the best mid-range Xiaomi phone on the market in 2022. We're looking at a striking and stylish gaming smartphone, equipped with side pop-up shutters and an AMOLED HDR10 Plus display, 6.67 inch Full HD Plus, offering 2400 by 1080 pixels with a refresh rate of 120Hz. Also included in the mix is the Gorilla Glass Victus protection for maximum resistance and a fingerprint reader placed on the side. When it comes to the camera, we find a triple module of 64, 8, and 2 megapixels with the Sony IMX686 main sensor and a wide angle of 120 degrees. A selfie camera of 20 megapixels is inserted in the punch hole. In short, we're looking at a complete rebrand. If there is something that attracts attention about mobile phones designed for gaming, it is their aesthetics. They usually use flashy elements, LED lights, and an aggressive design that does not appeal to everyone. In this case, Poco decided to give this model a touch of sleek vibe, at least in the silver color. Three things stand out in the design section in addition to the ones mentioned. On the one hand, two asymmetric speakers with high power and a very punchy sound. On the other hand, the absence of a headphone jack, something that's normal in high-end models, but not so much in gaming phones. The device sports the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM memory, 128 or 256 gigabyte of storage with UFS 3.1 memory. Everything makes the device respond very well, and games work perfectly. Another key part of this device is the gaming-oriented screen design. Here we have a 6.67 inch panel with FHD plus resolution and OLED technology. We're looking at a maximum refresh rate of 120Hz, although this is not an LTPO screen. So choosing the correct speed will affect the battery more or less. The Poco F4 GT has a rear camera module with a triple sensor, 64 megapixel main, 13 megapixel wide angle, and 2 megapixel macro. We'll get quite vivid photos with a slight oversaturation that doesn't bother us but is still noticeable. Pretty good dynamic range and more than decent behavior at night. Good stuff, a thumbs up from here.